for anybody who doesn't know, in two, in 2017, so six years ago, a little over six years ago actually, I started playing this game and somehow or other failed to save it to Twitch or YouTube and got a few streams in according to um according to what's it called i'm sorry i'm still booting my brain up it's in like the solving technical difficulties mode which is not so good at it. talking about things mode no so steam steam says that i had five hours in one shot but that was before i spent forever and ever and ever playing games um but yes yeah, so i was somewhat disheartened by the fact that it i had lost so much of this game um and so I said, you know what? I'll set it aside and I'll come back to it in case I forget it someday. Which is funny because in 2017, I don't think I had memory issues. Um, so I don't know why I thought that I would forget the game and then be able to play it later. Because I think that was around the same time I played Final Fantasy X and I think that my brain was fully functional when we played Final Fantasy X. I'm not sure. Somebody who's gone back and watched Final Fantasy X We'll have to confirm that or not. Um, yes, I'm back. Uh, gosh, I don't know. I feel like, is this too long of an introduction? Should I cut all of this? Do all the folks on YouTube, I guess I guess nobody's following me on YouTube without knowing what they're getting into, so. Um, yeah, so. So I think I didn't have memory issues then, but I think for some reason that I don't know, I, I was like, I'll put this aside until I forget it. Well, fortunately for 2017, Lauren, uh, 2023 Lauren has had memory issues for several years, potentially due to extensive iron deficiency leading to insufficient oxygen to my brain over the period of several years. So, would not recommend. Would not recommend. Um, <laughs> the, the result is that I don't really remember a lot about one shot. But I do remember a small handful of things, and so for the record, I will state all of the things that I remember about One Shot. Um, this is sometimes hilarious if it's like Final Fantasy VII and, or Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and it turns out that I'm remembering like the wrong game or something like that. Oops. Um, but, uh, but for One Shot, I think these are actual memories. I'm pretty sure that the main character is really adorable and either isn't pronounced or is they them um, because I don't have a gender association in my head with Nico. Um, what else have I got? Um, I think I'm carrying this light bulb. Okay, the kid, the kitty kid is carrying the light bulb. And I know there's some meta stuff because I'm pretty sure the kid talks to me and I think it put a document on my hard drive. I think. But I don't remember for sure because that was the year after I think, um, or maybe like a year and a half after. It was some not super long time after Undertale had kind of popularized the idea of meta stuff happening outside of a game. Um, and so I might be missing. I don't, I don't think that Undertale ever makes a document on your computer. So that must be one shot. And I think there's a bird. I think there's a bird. I don't know if that means there's like a nest and eggs or if there's like a bird character or a bird enemy to fight things. I don't know. And shadows, which I guess makes sense because you've got a light bulb. Um, so there you go. For those of you who know this game, if any of the things that I just said made sense to you, you can be like, ah, okay, Lauren does remember something about this game. If you're like, what is this nonsense? <sighs> That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Um, so it's not a hundred percent nothing. It's not a hundred percent no memories. I feel like it was a really dark game. Like I feel like you're like trying to unravel a mystery of like why things are bad. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm really good at this. I'm trying really hard. I think that's what I've got. And I'm not gonna try to remember things more. I will tell you straight up if I think I'm remembering something. And then after a certain point, we'll get to where I was in the game. And I will potentially recognize it because, was I in a city? I feel like I was in a city. I feel like when I opened it up, I was in a city. I think you go through different locations. Maybe you go through different worlds or universes or something. I don't know. I, uh, I don't remember what color it was, but I probably will recognize it. So I'll let you know when I say, oh, this is what happens when I booted the game up and, and, and the character talks to me, but the character now won't know. Because I've gone through like three or four computers in the past six years. I have lived in two countries and three different states or provinces and uh, four different cities and like eight different apartments <laughs> or something like that. So <laughs> in that interim, I, I, I've had a lot of life changes and stuff. So... We'll see what 2023 Lauren thinks of this. If anyone remembers what 2017 Lauren thought of it, you're the only ones, man. <laughs> you're the only ones. <laughs> All right. Shall we? Shall we dive in? I have my controller. Look at how pretty and nice my controller is. This is a computer that, or a controller that doesn't try to take over my computer. Hi. Hello, by the way, we've got a few folks here. Actually, no, before we dive on in. Um, yeah, we'll do a little, like, hello to everybody. Are you all right with that? I know we want to see the game, and I know I'm off to a late start, and I just talked about a bunch of other things, but, like, what else am I going to do? I'm going to talk. So we had a few folks here who I think uh, I haven't seen in a while, um, which is exciting to see. Um, Laranja, you said that you, uh, you needed a chill voice, so I'm happy to be that chill voice. Um, I'm trying to see, there were some other, there were a couple other names that, like, I think hadn't been able to join because of the games we've been playing or schedules or things. I also have to thank Trip Dinosaur for a billion gift subscriptions. Thank you, friend. Um, and let's see, who, who else? Did we just have somebody who said they couldn't be here? Um, and... Uh, I don't know. I've got some names wrong. Okay, well, well, hello and welcome to everybody. If you're watching me for the first time somehow... Oh boy. <laughs> also, did you see how my, my, my webcam just did that thing? That's why I bought a new webcam! I got a shiny, fancy new webcam and it won't work! <laughs> so, we're stuck with that little glitching happening. Um... Oh man, knocking chairs down escalator simulator. Final Fantasy VII remake. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. If you wanna if you wanna join the Discord, if you're not yet in the Discord, we have a really friendly Flutie Pies Discord. And um the fun thing about that is we have a stream spoilers place where you can go and talk to people who know the game in question. And you can talk about all of the spoilers to your heart's content, and I will not go in there. So you will not you will not spoil me. So if you are going insane about like, what is she talking about a city and a bird and a thing? Where did she even get that from or whatever? You can all talk amongst yourselves there. So unfortunately our bot appears to be down for a second. Can you just one second? I am so not on top of things here. To be fair, I haven't streamed in a few weeks. So uh, let us get, uh, get the bot back up yes yes everybody's very impressed with you Streamlabs. i hate this i hate that i have to use their cloud bot thing instead of the bot that i used to use locally but as it turns out technology continuously gets worse as people find new ways to make money off of you okay try the bot now we should be good Yes! The bot is back. <laughs> yeah, if somebody else wants to find me a replacement bot that can let me import our several thousand quotes, we'll do that. Um, Alright, god, this is such a long intro. 
I, I, I can't get conscious put this up on YouTube. I'm sorry. I've been talking. I guess it's been talking for ten minutes, but okay. All right, folks. Ooh. I'm sorry. I had to take a moment. The sound design. This sounds like flicking a switch of some sort. It doesn't sound like turning something on like with a light switch, but it sounds like the like switch on my lamp, which is a pain to turn. It's very clicky. Okay. BGM is probably fine. SFX is probably fine. Full screen is definitely not what we want. Default movement walk. Colorblind mode, that's good. It's always good to have things be accessible. Uh, skip text are frame skip. Do what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, while you tell me that, I'm gonna demonstrate because I am a hot mess. Hold on. here it's gonna get real dark in here for a second I feel like that's thematically appropriate I'm like hold on <clears throat> I don't even know how much of this you guys can hear you hear that Okay. All right. My point is made. I am pleased with myself. Right? Right? <clears throat> but it specifically sounds like one like my light thing where it's it's hard to it's it's annoying. It's not just one of those where you just like flip 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 you have to like turn it and just like ugh. It's my least favorite thing about my lamp, but I love my lamp because it has metal leaves on it. Oh, I put up my fairy lights again. I'll show this to you another time when my room is less of a mess. It's kind of a mess right now. All right. I don't think I'm going to need, I don't think I'm going to need Foley, but you never know. Maybe I'll finish the audio projects that I want to work on, but I have to get back to writing first, which I'm working on. <laughs> My therapist assigned me to work on NaNoWriMo <laughs> to try to get back into things and work through some stuff. So, um, you never know, maybe I'll write things again. It'd be amazing and exciting. Okay. I have stalled long enough. Are you ready to dive in? Let's do it. And this time we're on tough stuff instead of whatever dreadful computer I had in 2017. Poor tough stuff though. She's she's kind of on her last legs, and she's only three years old. So, that's my laptop. <laughs> she and Flutie Bot are girlfriends. <laughs> There's all this lore you might have missed out on. Um, yeah, let's dive in. Oh, dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge, Aaron Mullins. We miss you. Is this dedicated to a kitty or is this dedicated to a human? And these are things representing that human. Like, that looks like a hat and a bunch of flowers and a cat. So it seems like it's representative of a person. Okay. It is somebody who, uh, who also made games with RP RPG Maker. That's really, uh, that's a really sweet thing to do. I mean, online communities can be a really, really, really rich and valuable way of making connections that are really important to you, you know? Like, I don't know. When we were young weirdos on the internet, we had no idea that, uh, we had no idea that these things we were doing on the internet, these little forums or, or groups, 
chats, games, whatever it was that we played to connect with other people. We had no idea that it was actually going to lead to anything um, or shape our lives in the way that I think it really has for a lot of us. It's it's really a uh, it's really remarkable. Um, so I don't know. That's just kind of what that makes me think of. Anyway, video game. Gameplay. Oh, oh, I'm going to read things out loud. Sorry. I'm going to have to deal with that. That's the thing that I do now. <laughs> it has been requested as an accessibility feature, and I'm happy to oblige. Plus, then I get to practice reading things, and we get some really embarrassing inside jokes from my misreads. Jennifer White. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Gameplay. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you may find an item. <laughs> Once you have picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it at certain locations in order to progress. Hey! It's an adventure game! I didn't remember it was an adventure game. With adventure game level crafting. Amazing. I like the like the chords, like you get like one chord at a time. So it keeps like that feeling of progression through this. You know? Because they, they, they follow each other. It's not just random notes. Um other. Although full screen is an option, the game is best experienced in windowed mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto saves after some key events. In other words, whatever happens unless you decide to delete your save, as I apparently did because it's six years old and I don't remember it. Um, you can't go, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that and save and load or and quit and load. You can't do that. That is not an option, which presumably is what the name one shot is referencing. So that's fun. I'm glad it warns you about that. Oh, okay, that's really nice. By transitioning, I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to deal with, I'm just gonna talk. By showing us the art and then immediately transitioning to the sprite, we, we know what this character is supposed to look like. Not just like interpret their sprite design, but we like actually know exactly that that portrait is this person. It's nicely done. Also the music, the, the like sort of surreal otherworldly sound starting as the character opens their like big luminescent eyes. It's very effective. All right, kiddo, you are waking up at the beginning of a game. It's a cliche that is allowed. Hello? Dot, dot, dot. Hi, kiddo. Is that a ruler? There's a TV remote here. Okay, so B is the is the item button or the interact button. I might have to change that. Bye, Soul and Light. We'll see you around again. Nico picks it up. I've got an inventory. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. Same text. There's some stuff on the floor. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. This is going to be a lot of storytelling narration. That's a good fit. Oh man, it's okay, Resolution Blaze. I think this is a game where everyone's playthrough is a little bit different, but I'm also under the impression that this is a game that you should play knowing as little as possible about it. So it's a slight disadvantage for me to have played it before. Even if I don't remember it, something of it is still in my head. So I would recommend. Oh, you, well, you could watch a few minutes of it and dive on it and then decide if you want to get it. That's fine too. This looks like a computer. Oh. 
input password. That's so nice. The piano. Access denied. Is that on my bed? Nico just woke up here. Like, my bed is gl has a glowy thing on it. The door is locked. Oh, that's some nice, some nice sound design. Ah, it's too hard to read in the dark light. Television remote. Do you hear the the piano? That's so effective and nice. Nico just woke up here, yes. Hold on, I might be stuck. Okay. All right, Lauren. Oh, I've got a run button. I guess that's why I had the option to default a walker run. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. Okay, so light and dark are going to be a factor in this game. The fact that I have to be in this dim light to be able to see what's on the remote. All of the numbers except 0, 2, 6, and 7 are missing. Okay, so I don't know what colors. Okay, 0, 2, 6, 7. They're marked in bright colors, yes, you don't say. 0. Hold on, I'm going to go look at that again. Okay. Zero, six, seven, two. Hold on. I'm doing this with my own mnemonics here. So it's zero, six, seven, two. I put them in rainbow order. <laughs> that's the only way I can remember it without having to remember two things. <laughs> See if this works. Haha! <laughs> it did! Excellent! Oh, look at that! It's old windows! I don't remember there being a computer in it at all, so clearly I don't remember anything. Am I gonna get, like, sucked into the computer? You found me, says this text box. It's not a text box, it's an error message. <laughs> Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. I'm definitely getting never ending story vibes from this. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Oh, this is not talking to Nico. This is talking to me. Okay. Your mission, in quotes, is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, it says in a pop-up in Windows, you only have one shot, not an OT. Does that mean that I didn't get to put my name? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be my name. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to say you only have one shot, Lauren, and you're supposed to be creeped out by your name. But unfortunately, 
You don't get to see that. Does that mean I did something wrong? Can I can I fix my name? Oh, because my computer is not Lauren. Oh, you're correct. <laughs> God, thank you, Whooper. I wouldn't have made that connection. Uh, so Tough Stuff has had many issues since I got her. Um, and I've had to reinstall Windows three or four times, including at one point that a friend was guiding me over a, a conference call, like long distance. Um, and she, she uh, told me that I should name my new Windows installation I, something that something I should name it not the same... Like, don't name it what you named it before. Don't, if you, if you, if you named it Lauren before, may, whatever you name it now, it should be not Lauren. So. Because <laughs> I'm really funny. <laughs> That's what I named it. Okay, we'll fix it later. Okay. Anyway, if you've ever wondered, what is Lauren's sense of humor? And is she really a contrary little butt? Yes. <laughs> yes. You only have one shot, not Lauren. And that's supposed to be really disturbing because I didn't put a name in. There's no name input. How did it know my name? Well, because my computer. I got it. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Hi, DJ K Wall. Welcome. I unlocked the door after talking to the. Well, why is there a computer? I'm gonna. Hold on, I'm gonna move this. Yeah, I imagine that would be unsettling in, in 2014, which was not when I played this game. Yeah, I can see the pop-up being very jarring because games didn't do that. I imagine they probably had to do some sort of weird technical stuff in, in RPG Maker to make that happen. All right, let's talk to everything. What is this? A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. I guess I got a branch. Can I water? Can I water the plant? There's no need to do anything else to it. Give me a cup. I've got a sink. Oh, hello. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stares back at Nico. Yes, luminous is in fact the right word. There's no water in the toilet. Oh, that might complicate things. The tub won't run. Just make sure there's nothing else, like, hidden around. Okay. Nico's little apartment, I assume, or possibly a little house. It's strange, though, because these... The music, sorry, distracted me. It won't turn on, says Nico, not the narrator. Should I indicate to you whether it's the narrator or Nico speaking? Because I don't really act. I don't really do voices. Hello? Anyone? Oh, I'm sorry, Nico. The TV gives off a, a dangerous looking spark. <sighs> so items you can interact with that are no longer usable, I suppose, are gray and things that could be associated with light are yellow. It's a good sound effect. Let's see, there's a whole house here. The wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. Blue text. Interesting. Mother locked door. I like that your footsteps change sound depending on the material. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Green. Nico takes it. So Nico can make decisions on their own to some degree. The 
refrigerator is empty. Just a chair. Just a table. Just a chair. The sink won't turn on. This looks like the same symbol that was on my bed that was glowing. Oh, look at that! Some good old fashioned, like, adventure game zoom in on something important. That's a door you can't walk through until you've done whatever that is. Ah! The smell of the liquid is repugnant. A flaky dry branch from the bathroom plant. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. What could we possibly do here, folks? Oh, I have a bottle and a wet branch. What could we possibly do? As adventure game logic goes, this is pretty logical. It's just, I don't know why I want to light the thing on fire, but it said it could be lit. Nico readies the branch. Ah! Hold on. Doesn't The torch doesn't give off much light. It's a blue light, though. That's really odd. The fire in the fireplace is blue. The flames are dim but comforting. Something's not right here. This is glowing. That looks special and new. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. A key would be my guess. Nico digs it out. Yeah, they, they take actions on their own. Mm, it doesn't tell me what it is. Basement key. This thing looks old. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I thought this looked like the right shape. But I was wrong. The basement key. The thing is, I don't think that this is a basement and I don't think it'll take a regular key because it has this strange shaped hollow in it. And usually a hollow like that. Yeah, usually that means you have to find an item that's shaped like that to put in there or something like that. Let's try not to die. Oh. They unlocked the basement automatically on their own. I had it equipped, but still. The music's really ominous. I'm very scared. I want to keep this kid safe and to show this kid. Oh, you can just press down the walk button. Or not the walk button. You could just press down the item button and it goes down the stairs automatically. Oh, see, that's the shape of the thing that goes in that mysterious door. It's a knocker. I think. No? No, it's a light bulb. This is some effective animation. Oh. Light bulb. A large light bulb. It's the sun. Is it really? Are we going to have to go put the sun back at the center of the universe? To uh, stop the destruction of everything? Hi, Blues. I guess I've done what there is to do. Stairs back at Nico. Did it say stairs back at Nico before? Or did it say stairs back at you before? Hmm. My memory is not very good. <laughs> okay, so we've solved this puzzle pretty handily. It did say Nico before. Okay. Okay, 
I just glossed over it. So this is a strange little home. Kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, basement. And yet it looks like the color's kind of been leached out of everything because even carrying this light, everything is very, very dim. And the fire is strangely colored. It shouldn't be that color. All right. Well, this is significant. Hold on. I'm going to take a look one more time at my bed because there's a glowy thing on my bed. You see, there's a glowy thing on my bed. But I guess it doesn't mean anything. All right. I'm just, I'm just looking into things too much. All right. Well, let us look at the door that has the thing shaped like the thing that we have. I wonder if I can do something different now that I've got the bulb equipped. But okay, so we're gonna go outside and the world is going to be nothing. I guess we'll go outside and see the world be nothing. Oh, is this, this is the hallway from my home. Hmm. What's left of a computer terminal? No, this is all computer terminals. Okay, I don't know where I am or how I got here. Looks like I looks like I want to get to the top of that tower so that I can put the sun back in the sky. Fast travel. You can quickly travel to the locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default key for opening the menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. You'll hit your head on the ceiling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this is not a linear story, like where you go from one location to the next location to the next location. Also, there's robot people. Can I leave sparkly footsteps? And the water is sparkly and the music is sparkly. Are the robot people still alive? Can I talk to you? A robot. It no longer has power. What's left of a robot? They almost make me think of something from Cave Story. You know? What's left of a robot? A minecart? Are we like deep down below? Oh, it's a different, a different. There's a word for those. The area of a map. What's the word for that? Room? Room? Oh, you look like you're still alive. Hello. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. I'm currently inclined to call robot people it it's because I've been reading Murderbot. Have you read Murderbot? If you haven't read Murderbot, if you want cozy adventurous science fiction in a cyberpunk dystopian future where there are a lot of good people trying to do their best, um May I recommend Murderbot? It's really good. <laughs> it's so good. I've completely lost my mind to it. 
Yeah, no, Murderbot is the main character being self-deprecating by referring to itself as Murderbot. No, Murderbot is by Martha Wells, and it is incredible and amazing and amazing and wonderful and one of the best things I've read in a long time. The first novella, there's four novellas and then a, then a novel and then another novella and then the next novel's coming out this month. I'm very excited. It's definitely not Slice of Life. It is definitely a lot of action adventure. What makes it cozy is not that it's on a small scale. What makes it cozy is that fundamentally, ultimately, there are people who are good and they're trying to do good things and terrible things don't happen without closure. So it's great. I recommend it. Anyway, I'm sorry that's a tangent, but I just have completely fallen head over heels in love with Murderbot. The first novella is really short. It's called All Systems Red. It won the Hugo and the Nebula and a bunch of other things, and now everyone is obsessed with it. It's really good. And sassy. Oh my god, it's so snarky. Murderbot itself is such a snarky character. It's so good. <laughs> There's some banter. Murderbot is a bot human cyborg creation security security unit um, that's supposed to go after dangers and keep people safe. Um, but it doesn't want to kill things. It just wants to watch soap operas. <laughs> it just wants to watch television. <laughs> It hacked its governor module so that it could just watch television. And it doesn't want to have to hurt people or do anything or talk to people or look at people in the face. God, no. Um, it's very autistic coded. In a, The author was asked, so did you intentionally write this character autistically coded? And the author was like, no, I just wrote it like me. And everyone's like, hmm. Um... It's really great, anyway, and it has feelings that it doesn't want to have, but it has them. And there's people in it, and a lot of the people are good, trying to do the right thing. And sometimes they're dumb, and Murderbot has to help them. Not because it's told to, but because it's the right thing to do. It's really good. I don't want to spoil it, but it's really... I love it. I love it so much. Chrono has had to deal with me just yelling at him as I was reading through, like, the next story. And then the next story. And then I was like, Chrono, find me fanfic. <laughs> it's good. Um, yes, I, I strongly recommend it. Anyway, that's a tangent. We're playing a video game. All right. So here is a bot. I will not, I should not assume the bot's pronouns. I'm just in murder bot land and murder bot prefers it, its pronouns. Um, so this, this bot looking creature says, ah, that light bulb you are here every word is capitalized not all caps but capitalized so that means we have to read it with a certain tone and the me says nico yes says the bot welcome to our world friend i'm sorry i am most humbled by your presence yes uh thanks Dot, dot, dot. There was a little unhappy grumble box over Nico's head, and then Nico dot dot dots again. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right! Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this weird house. Okay, so that wasn't Nico's house. I was wondering about that. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location. Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes. Sparkly. <laughs> this is a happy robot. You are the savior we have been waiting for. I'm sorry. I, I, I realize it might be annoying for me to do the voice, but I can't not do the voice. <laughs> You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Even the prepositions are capitalized. Every word is capitalized. 
Oh my goodness. All right, we'll say. Um, this is Nico. I will now provide you with vital information. <laughs> Please ask me anything! Exclamation point. Uh, well, can you tell me about... I wonder if I'm actually going to be able to ask all these questions or if this game is going to establish that I don't get to. We'll see. Oh, I never had a GameCube. So I don't know what GameCube game to reference. I'm sorry, Hitsuki. <laughs> I skipped two Nintendo generations. Oh, Eternal Darkness. Oh. Which I have actually seen some of. Um, but obviously not too much, given that it's a horror game, and I am Lauren. <laughs> Apparently, I think my sister found that game scarier than I did, which is shocking, but I think she might have seen more of it than I did. All right, let us ask about this world. When in doubt, start big and go small. Surely you have more questions. Oh, you don't get away to not- I hit the wrong button. This world. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim, nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The savior is late. That's interesting. The world's divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now. The Barons. <sighs> okay. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh, so that's what the tall thing was. I was right. As you go further toward the center, you will cross the other regions. One of them is the city. I was in a city. I don't remember if anyone was live in the city, but I do remember there was a city. And I think that's where I stopped playing the game. Do not confirm or deny. Discuss amongst yourselves in the spoiler stream chat. Stream spoilers chat. Oh man. Are we gonna start quoting Sonic songs here? We're gonna start quoting Sonic songs. <laughs> I actually didn't play any of the later songs, so I only know I only know Sonic music from the later games because I know VGM people and they really like that song. Huh. All right. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Ooh, that sounds useful, doesn't it? Can you tell me about this light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your son? Yes! Years ago, our previous son sat atop that tower and spilled its life into the land. I'm sorry, but spilled its life is... It's an interesting choice of phrase. Night, Chrono. We'll see you around. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The sad face of Robot. The surface of this world is abun abundant with an element called phosphor. Not a bunt. A bunt. I actually have a bunt pan for cake on my bed right now. <laughs> because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> Gotta be ready to bake at a moment's notice. No, I just ordered one and it arrived and I took it out of the box. So Sophie could have the box, but that means that everything else just kind of got dumped. <laughs> Uh, anyway, wh why do you put up with me? Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. I hope that Nico's life energy doesn't power the sun, and then Nico has to be stuck being the sun until the, their life, it, it, yeah, their life force runs out, and then the next person has to come and do it. I don't know. I have... I have read and played and watched too much stuff, and I can't help but try to figure out where a story is going. I'm sorry, I feel like that might be annoying. 
But this does really make me think of the Neverending Story. We've got a we've got a world that is falling apart and being destroyed. We have a chosen one child coming from outside the world who has to go on a quest to to bring something somewhere in order to heal the land. Just we'll see. I like the Neverending Story a lot, so this is not a complaint. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Ah. Oh. But now that you are here with the new sun, all is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like the sounds of that. Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. The I'm is glowing yellow. I wonder if that's significant. Are those messages meant for someone else? Okay, this is where I, Lauren, not Lauren, <laughs> hitching a ride, come in. I'm not going to make an assumption that this is in some way like the never-ending story trying to get somebody from outside Nico's outside world tugged in because the earthling child, in the case of the never-ending story, is necessary for um, the world to be healed. But that might be the case, in which case the person who made this game is probably familiar with the never-ending story, which I still am convinced Toby Fox might be doing something with uh, Delta Rune in that vein. If he doesn't, I will, except I can't make a game, so I'd have to write a story about a game, which I've done. Um, hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to not Lauren. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not Lauren. We're just going to just substitute not Lauren in there now that I know that it's not Lauren. Are you folks okay with that? Ah, that would be our god. Oh. Okay, no, that is a... I did not see that coming. <laughs> Congrats on the promotion. Thanks, yeah. It's not Lauren the God. <laughs> it's different. No, that's actually really interesting because in those cases, it's not a deity that they're trying to get a hold of. It's like the Earthling Child. It's somebody from the world outside of the book. Um, but here, they're trying to get attention from I'm sorry I should just play the game let the game tell you stop trying to oh, I can't help it all right let's just let the game do it I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop I'm just gonna let the game go if you are here that means not Lauren is here also not Lauren will provide guidance for your journey in fact they already have really Oh, Nico looks excited about that. I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Not yet? Oh, this is a really unfortunate name choice. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Not Lauren. An ability that no one else possesses. Certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. All right. All right, kiddo. Hello? Not Lauren? Are you there? That is not my name. Uh, oh. Well, what is your name then? Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna do this properly. Sorry. This is a very good way of handling this. Because I almost never name my computer after myself anyway. Oh no, blue glass. Oh, that is really unfortunate. I'm not. Wait, so you're not, not, or not, 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 no, not, 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 not. Okay, we're going to get into a, we're going to get into an Odysseus and, and nobody sort of thing if we do that. All right. N nice to meet you, Lauren. My name is Nico. Oh, they look so excited. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Lauren, though. So it changes the text. You had to change the name. This is incredible. Look at those eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay. If any harm comes to this precious child, I'm going to have feelings. It seems the recorded name was incorrect. Updating database. Hmm? Update complete. Do not be afraid to ask Lauren for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Well, no pressure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, though. I can't be a very effective deity when I have no idea. Well, let's ask about going home. Oh. I don't mean to be rude, but I... I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. I recorded voice for somebody's, um... Somebody made a cover of a song from this game and they needed somebody to record Nico's mama's voice and they decided that I had a suitably maternal presence. <laughs> so somewhere out there there's a one-shot cover where in which I am Nico's mom, but I'm pretty sure all I did was call out Nico, Nico, or something like that. <sighs> that was a while ago. That was before I played this game, I think. So 2016? I don't know, it's a mystery. Anyway, this is clearly a very child. Like, child, child. Like, like they don't just look like a child. Um, if they were hanging out with their mama, like, they're literally a kid. So I can't let anything happen to them. And now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. If I am unable to help you beyond my programming, I am sorry. Oh, everyone is sad. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent! I wish you luck. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Mm-hmm. Go on then, ask away. Can you tell me about the barrens? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here. Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not there was no time. I see. I have no idea what any of that means, but it sounds bad. Like sad, like an unfortunate thing. 
Like, it was built in a hurry, and they couldn't finish... Whoever made it couldn't finish doing what they needed to do to... Something? Tell me about the prophecy. So, what is this prophecy, exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up in a strange house find the sun and illuminate the world. I hope that I hope that the child themselves is not going to be the the illumination of the world. Oh. What else did you uh foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? <laughs> Question mark. Wait, you are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it is built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot, after all. I see. Can you tell me about the tower? How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I am not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Lauren will know what to do. I see. Okay. Cool. That's not ominous at all. I feel like I shouldn't be as distrustful of this game as I am. We're gonna walk around outside and then we're gonna start going into places. Wait, is this the same place that I started? No, because that had a couple of robot corpses around. I really, really, really like the effect of the sparkling water. I guess that's the phosphor. That's what they were talking about. This is not a very effective bit of railroad right here, just saying. This looks like... Oh wait, I can run, right? Yeah. I might start actually exploring each screen while I'm on that screen, because it looks like the world might actually be too big. So have you not played this game, Looper? A robot sitting on the conveyor belt doesn't seem to have power. A robot. It seems to be okay, just doesn't have power. A big machine. Looks like a press used to crush metal. I'm sure nothing horrible is going to happen here. Okay, these are all the press, press machines. Okay. You've never heard of this game before. Okay, I feel like I heard a ton of people talking about it for a while. That's concerning. What's left of a robot's arm? Pieces of a robot. It's badly damaged. Just a head. Oh, 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 look at Nico's face. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I don't mean to disturb you. A robot. It's beyond repair. We're still really early in the game, so we're not quite sure what it's about. This child has woken up in a mysterious situation and been told a prophecy that they are going to bring the sun back to the dark land and we'll figure out what happens from there. Somewhere one of those crunchy machines is working. I 
I'm not even sure what this is supposed to be. I'm sorry, Nico. I hope I'm not traumatizing them by making them look at robot bodies. There's the machine. More damaged robots. I probably need to be careful interacting with this thing because I don't want it to crush the... Oh, this machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close to it. What if my scarf got caught in there and then it'll pull me in and... I'm not going to finish that sentence. Yeah, I was a little nervous about it myself. I thought the light bulb might be the problem, but you know. Okay, so now I know that there's something in here that'll smash things if I need it to smash something. I don't know what I might need smashed, but if I need something smashed... I don't currently have anything that needs to get smashed. Smash some bros. Okay, let's see what your house is like. Oh, a robot without power. Dusty shelves. Oh, this looks like a piece of paper that might have an answer on it. Hello, piece of paper, please have things. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city. There is a city. But that doesn't make it any easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Okay, so a robot caused some trouble and was sent away here to be the head engineer. And maybe some things went wrong. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. So that's why these robots aren't doing anything, because their energy source is the sun. And so without any sun, there's no energy, there's no robots. Because they can't even like have an external power source. This box looks interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. I guess I'd better look for something that I can pry it open with. One. Ah. A robot may not injure a living person or through an action allow a person to come to harm. Two. A robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such conf such orders would conflict with the first law. These are Asimov's laws of robotics. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Man, I wonder what 2017 Lauren had to say about all this, because this was when I had... 2017 was the year that I finished writing my robot story. The... The, the novel that was my master's thesis that was had robot characters in it map of the world there's the tower in the center so there's barons, glen and refuge okay well if that's the case and I did make it to the city that means that I was farther than I thought that's interesting Oh, those are windows I see they look outside it's a faded poster reminder to all workers the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimps spawn period 
If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. It's a faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Okay, so capitalism. Or if not capitalism, at least a, um, there seems to be a scarcity of jobs if it's first come, first serve, and you'll have, you'll have food and a place to sleep if you're willing to work in the mine. All right. It won't turn on. Page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. The rest of the page is unreadable. That's a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit in here. There are a lot of small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I can feel my hair standing up a little. Okay, so somehow we have to charge up and repower the robots here by fixing so I need something to pry open this box and then I need to find something rectangular that I put in there maybe you can answer more questions friend okay turns out that so Nico's sound is like a typewriter and the robot is beep beeps ah no all right we're gonna look around and see if we can't find hmm Nico is a very well mannered and polite child powered robot. So this is where I came in. Computer terminals. Alright. More robots. Some of these robots, even, even when I try to do something, they won't be able to turn on. But some of them, I think, will be able to turn on. I just have to find the tools to uh, power them. Oh, hello. Um, hello? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Lauren, are you there? Yes. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. That's cute. I like how readily they just accept that the god is here for them to talk to, and that I'm here to help them. And they seem to feel reassured talking to me, as though they think that I know what I'm doing. I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it all right if I take a nap? I don't want to have missed out on my opportunity to do things. But if the kiddo needs a nap... I don't know how serious the choices are in this game. But I want to show kindness to this kid, so yes. Oh, the game just closed.
Well, that's interesting. Hold on. That's the wrong one. Here we go. This music is completely different. I assume we're dreaming. Hi, kiddo. Looking around at the wheat field. Oh. Oh, the things I thought were whiskers are your hair. Lauren, are you still there? Yes, you have no option to say no here. Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Wow. I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. I was literally about to say that, but the game put the words into my mouth that I was going to say. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? Ah, uh, I guess not. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? I can either say Earth or that's a secret. I'm going to tell this child. I don't think there's any reason for me to keep anything from this child at this point. So I want to be honest and open and trusting. And, 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 and let this kid know that they can trust me. Earth? Like the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> I love that as an option. This is really cute. This really feels like a kid is having conversation with a deity. This is the sort of thing that a kid would say. Like, they're incredibly polite, but they're still going to ask silly questions and misinterpret things really sweetly. No. Ah, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? <laughs> I can say yes, it's also a ball of fire, or... I can't tell you that. I did have a basement apartment at one point. No, that's true. I lived in a basement apartment for about a year and a half. Oh my god, Violet Square. That is exactly the sort of thing. Hi, Miss God. What's your favorite color? Mine is blue. This is exactly what a child would say. It's really sweet. All right, well, I'm going to tell Nico, yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. This feels like the sort of line that has some additional meaning that we don't know and won't know until we get later in the game. That's good, don't you think? I can either say yeah, or my world is like that too. I'm gonna tell them my world is like that too. Ah, do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually, but some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> That's true in my world too. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyway, we should probably get going. Okay, so I should take opportunities to interact with the kiddo. It's a metal pipe. Must have broken off from one of those terminals. Heck yeah. Oh no! No! Game designers. Game designers, do you hear me? Never do this. Don't do this. Nobody likes this. I know I'm not the only person who's bad at that. Lauren, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. Okay, well that's good to know that that's up there. Let's not do that. The door text, the door vortex. Amazing. 
No, don't listen to Nick Buntline. He's wrong. Don't do this, game designers. So the Barrens seems to be populated by robots and some of the air seems to be poisoned. Oh, I have fast travel? Oh, man. I think this is the place I want to go into. Is this the factory? It's this place. Yeah, this is what I want to go into. Okay. This box looks interesting. Do you have something to pry it open with? I have something to pry it open with. If I can just remember my buttons. Metal rod. It weighs surprisingly little. The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Lauren. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Gosh, how will we do that? It's the advantage of having explored some things in advance. Oh, this looks like a fortress, but I know it's a factory. Ah, do you want me to crush the pipe in here, Lauren? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. If there was another way I could have done that, kiddo, I would have. I'm sorry, child. I want the kid to be okay and safe. To trust me and to be able to trust me safely. Crowbar. Makeshift crowbar made from a pipe. Alright. This bar should open it. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. It's empty now. Still got some shards of glass at the bottom though. Broken battery. Apparently a battery. It has some broken glass in it. I can't combine those. I don't think we can do anything else here, Lauren. It feels like we're on the right track, though. This is nice of them to let me know that, yes, in fact, using the light bulb on the battery is a thing that you will be doing later, presumably. So how will I fix the battery? Yeah, well, it feels a bit ominous, but I don't know how ominous it is. And I'm apparently uh, very sensitive and scared, Lauren, right now, where I don't think I trust games. I think just because, in general, I'm in a rougher spot. Um. There are a lot of small glowing shrimps swimming in the jar. Use the battery. Wrong button. The battery fits the slot perfectly. Looks like we're on the right track. But nothing happened. Okay, that is they, they do a really good job of letting you know you've 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 partially gotten things. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna fix the battery, we're gonna charge it with the sun, and then we're gonna stick it in there. How we're gonna do that, I don't know. I see you're asking about a raven bar. You know, there are a lot of a lot of bars called the crowbar that I have encountered in various cities around the country. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. Past tense. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Okay, so the workforce getting replaced by robots... Ideally, that wouldn't be a bad thing because the robots aren't going to get hurt by this kind of toxic thing. 
Um, but there's all sorts of things that could be going on. Like it could be that, that people are dying off and we need to use robots. Who knows? All right, so I'm gonna have to find a gas mask so that I can put one on my little kiddo. This is an awfully precise path to walk. It's gotta go somewhere. It might, it might actually go nowhere. <laughs> Dr. Light. Uh. This feels like progression, actually. So we're gonna go read. There's another document over there we're gonna go read. Sorry, I'm very not especially graceful here. Oh, hello. A metal safe. Seems like it's locked with a six digit code. I don't remember seeing any six digit codes. Do you, Lauren? That wasn't it. All right, we're gonna figure it out. Don't worry, Nico. We'll figure it out, kiddo. Oh, there's more of these, okay. A torn page with faded ink. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. <laughs> That's right, Gibraltar. More than four directions. Yes, walking diagonally is hard in video games. Okay, so the mining operations go smoothly. They need materials to do what? We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and in mind. Okay, so we have perhaps sentient, sapient robots. Specifically, the discovery of metal and alloy 291 will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Okay, and then what are you doing with these robots? Oh, am I pro progressing? Everything here is super sparkly and looks really important. I don't know what's progression. I... <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, this looks like this just loops around there. Okay. Yeah, the music is very good. It's dreamy. Ah, okay, I'm back in the poisonous area. Lauren, there's something in the air here. It hurts to breathe. All right, well, they are at least making it somewhat clear where things are gated, so I can go here. So you should deal with me singing along. The sun will not return, and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. All right. Well, that's pretty dark and pretty heavy. The sun will not return and the abyss is calling my name. Have any of you had nightmares where the sun goes out? Because I have. Dot, dot, dot. So that's a suicide note before whoever that was leapt into the unknown mysteries below. A dream where the moon fell. That sounds dangerous in its own way. There's like cl clovers here. No power, just like the rest. <gasps> Is that a person or a robot person? They say the light bulb. 
So, are you the Messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone that doesn't look like a kitten. That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat. But cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you being the messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you are better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be headed toward the tower. Mm-hmm. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb. Uh, sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend, and the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh! Nico's eyes get very happy, kitty. Don't take my word for it, though. Who are you, cool-looking person? What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least nobody history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. Oh! There's a chessboard. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have, the cap have the ca that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. What does that mean, honey? I don't know what that means. Oh! jar full of glowing shrimp. The top is covered with a wire mesh. A shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. A jar full of glowing shrimp. The top is covered with a wire mesh. It's a photo of two people. The glass is a bit too foggy to see details, though. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. This is like, like rowing bots. At least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. So she must be silver, and Kip is someone who's waiting for her, I guess, in the city. Please do not touch that. Oh, sorry, I got curious. What is this thing? Backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. There's lots of tiny glowing shrimp swimming in this jar. And lots of tiny shrimp that aren't glowing. Or swimming. No way! I just refilled that two days ago! Guess I'll make a trip to the shore later. That's not good. Hi, autumnal leaves! Yes! It's okay, I'm very slow, so we haven't gotten very far. Let's get whatever this mysterious thing here is. Something is poking out from this shelf. Ah, it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. I wonder if I could have gotten that and not made Nico have to approach the scary flattening machine. 
then again, sometimes facing things that we find scary and finding that we can we can survive getting to the other side of them is good for personal growth. So it's entirely possible that having Nico have to confront that flattening machine was actually good for them in, in the long run. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. Oh, there's a little gadget on the ground. It looks kind of like a camera. What's left of a camera anyway? Probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh, or not, I don't know. Do be careful in here. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can, but for you it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? It's a huge network of underground mines, the source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all been cleared out and repurposed. That makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. Oh, I wonder if they're underground and that's why they have no natural light and the only light they have is a light bulb. The yellow light is gone now. Must have imagined it. Safety violation. I wonder if I came in here with her And then came without her if that would work but I don't know who knows who knows I don't know how much of a difference that makes ready to leave mm -hmm. let's see if I can go in here without her I can Safety violation. Okay, so I might have actually been able to go back there and help somebody if I hadn't done that. Oh, that makes me feel bad. I didn't know though. And you can't go back and learn it, you know? Yes, Nico is a very good little child. They follow the rules. I wonder what that is. You see, there's like this strange shaped thing. A, maybe it's a mining device of some sort. Hmm. Um. So somewhere around here, there's going to be gas masks. They let me know that. Because if I didn't get yelled at, that that was a safety violation, then Nico might go there without knowing that it's a safety violation. So I missed my chance. That's so interesting. You only get one chance. What can I do with my screwdriver, Philip said? That actually wouldn't be very useful for prying something open after all, so I think I had to make the crowbar. Um, the thing is, I think I've already done the things. 
what have I not done? Where have I not been? I need to figure this out. I don't have a six digit code. appreciate that this game feels like it has a sense of place, you know? As simple as it is. And you have this feeling of not quite claustrophobia, but kind of like claustrophobia because even with this light, it's hard to see, you know? also not necessarily a lot to see either. Have I been in this one yet? These machines look like computers. Okay. Where do... which I'll clearly need so I can leave. Have I been in here? Yes, this is the one where I got the pipe that turned into... I'm so easily defeated by that sort of thing. Was Yume Nikki um, older than this game? How old is that? I haven't played that game, so. I've gotten conflicting ideas on whether I should or not. Wow, 2003 or 2004. Oh, wow, okay. So that's a. That is an old school indie game time. What was the year on Cave Story again? Okay, so it's the same age as Cave Story. I am familiar with Cave Story. Pond with a bubbled over surface. I think it's just world building. Just. The English patch release caused you to fail an exam in college. Was that because you were too busy playing the game, Nick? So, oh, I wonder if this is Silver, I think her name is, the robot there. The use of a robot as a replacement head engineer seems unorthodox. Last year's incident, they had to get her away from the city. And there'd be a reason why she didn't want to leave. I don't know. I'm very curious about what has brought her here. Okay, but I don't know. Oh, the word profit bot is written on the side. Didn't notice that earlier. Okay, so this is the Profit Bots special charging station. That's why it's here. Just like she has her own. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Oh. Okay, well, it does not appear that 
there's anything new. Okay, it's a profit bot. Oh, see, this has the power sign on the side of the building. So this was definitely the generator. And this is the factory. Oh no, Nick, that's amazing. Well, Cave Story is a most excellent game. That is true. If there's going to be a game that you fail, uh, fail an exam over, <laughs> I suppose that's the kind. I'm not sure what else to do here. I suppose I can go back and talk to Silver. Travel. Stocks, entrance, outpost, lookout point. Ah, that's where she lives. Okay. All right. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. Okay, maybe not. The glass is a bit too foggy to see details. Um, I don't really think I've got anything I can do anything. They look like clovers. Okay. Unless there's anything I can do with the clovers, but I don't think there is. A broken camera. Can't combine those. Somehow I don't think that Nico is going to be where my property damage comes in. I really enjoy property damage in a, good, a video game, though. Well, they said they set a fire. They, they lit a fire in a fireplace. I don't know if that counts as setting something on fire. You know? I might be able to teach Nico to do property damage. I would feel really bad though. Yeah, Nico and May are definitely not cut from the same exact cloth or anything. Oh man, I am stuck. I might have to get a hint through here. Just because I'm really not sure what I've, I think at this point I must have missed seeing something. If you know this game, if you could have a hint, Ku, this is a request. For anyone who is not familiar with the concept of a hint, Ku, it is a hint in the form of a haiku. Oh, thank you, Blue Glass. I love that I can request one and I know that the team gets to work on it. Because I get the feeling, okay, let's see, let's think about this. If I were. If I were the solution to this level, it's it's got to be something I've overlooked. Something that you can interact with that I didn't realize you could interact with. Here's the robot. Uh, hello. This robot doesn't have power. It might help us get across the ocean if we fix it. All right, let's see. I can see a great 
a green glow in the distance. That's gotta be the city. Yeah, the robot head's sitting around are kind of disturbing. And knowing that even if I get the generator working, some of these robots are not going to come back. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. What have I forgotten? What am I not thinking about? Neither one of the robots I can talk to seem to have anything new to say. There is some relief in knowing that I'm not the only one who got stuck here. Because I feel like I do pretty okay with adventure game logic. And this is pretty straightforward as adventure game logic goes. Um... But finding things is maybe a little hard, especially because it's so dark and dim. Sometimes gods need other gods for assistance. No, that's true, that's true. I can't let Nico down after all. keep them where are they what else could I use a screwdriver on so I just got the screwdriver use the screwdriver to pull the lens out okay done the lens pops right in I did use gaming logic. I was like, I've got to be able to do something with the screwdriver. We're using the sun directly on the battery? I would have never thought of that. Good thinking, Lauren. Ah, looks like it's already fully charged. That was fast. Charged battery. A working rechargeable battery. Maximum power. Ah, uh, sorry, Blue Glass. All of your work. Shall we do this? Extremely direct sunlight, yes. Like, part of me wants to go back and talk to her and tell her that I charged the battery. We'll do that. She probably won't say anything. Yeah, she doesn't say anything. That's okay. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Shall we do this, folks? Shall we power things up? Let's hope the charged battery does something. Whoa! <gasps> oh, it worked! I am functional! Did you power the generator? Yes, we did! Right, Lauren? I am functional! I can walk! Oh no, they've been sort of in this sort of state of half-aliveness this whole time. Oh, that's dreadful. That is a nightmare we don't want to think too hard about. Hello! 
hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? You don't realize that I have fixed the robots? Okay. That's fine. Did I miss an entire section of the... I was really hoping... Oh, there we go! Hello! I am functional! Mm-hmm! We're not gonna go to the rowboat yet. gonna go talk to anybody we can talk to. Oh, maybe there's some robots in, uh, in the factory, come to think of it. <gasps> yes! Oh, hello! Hi! I have power again! Yup! <laughs> this is really cute. Hello, organic life form! Hello! Oh, hello! Hi! <laughs> they just say hi. They just chat happily. But it is really sad all these robots we weren't able to save, you know? But I guess they also, they don't have enough They don't have programming to have personalities on top of that. Oh, we should go look at the one who's got the flowers. Not the flowers, the clovers. I don't have that code yet. That would be cute, Stolen Light. Hello, friend! Hello, small person. You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to the lookout point. Below us is the old quarry. The head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. I see. Strange black plants. They look like clovers. Well, let's go talk to her. See what's up. Okay, so the things that I no longer need. Safety violation. Pretty sure I messed that up. Darn. That's the sort of thing you can't know on a first playthrough, but you don't get a second playthrough. Okay, well, I have made things slightly less sad here. And I could conceivably row with the rowboat, but I, I don't want to leave yet. I feel like there's still things I can do to help here. I'm not quite sure what it is that I want to do here. I just have this, this vague sense that there's more to it. So I'm just looking. Because I never did find the gas mask, you know? I want a vehicle like this because then I can go visit whoever it is that's in the back of the cave. Okay. It's just, it's so cute. Like, there's not any, like, depth to those conversations but it still it does a good job of like letting you get to know a little bit more about like it just it reinforces that Nico is a little kiddo
I get? Where would I get a code? Otherwise, I'm gonna brute force it, folks. I'm sorry. He gets cool music. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Lorian helped me. But yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. Lauren and I will find a way to help you. There we go. Okay. So now we know we have to do something else. We have to get some rust aid. A quest for WD-40. Indeed. Just trying to see if... There's any hints that anybody... I don't know why I'm yawning already. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess maybe that's why it's six digits. To try to keep you from being able to brute force it. So the reason why I request hints in a form of a haiku is because I don't want to just be straight up told what to do and making it be in the form of a haiku generally forces people to not just tell me get the thing from here and go in there and so usually it's become a, a kind of a team project these days where the people in spoiler chat will talk to each other and figure out how to come up with one Talk to the few robots that say something else. I am watching over the plants. Yes, you are, friend. You are indeed. Well done. look very comfortable. It's a crate. It's a crate. Um. Safety violation. Okay. There's some things that I, that seem to be interactable. There is the boat, which I need to de-rust. There's the mine, but I need a vehicle for Nico to be willing to go in there now. Um, there is the six-pointed, or six-pointed, not six, six-numbered, uh, chest thingy which presumably is where I'm going to get um, the gas masks which is silly because the gas masks should be accessible in case of an emergency but I'm guessing that that's what's gating those off and then I need that to go up into the gross place yeah okay hit, hit me up with your hint coup let's hear it <laughs> normally I make it very clear 
that I am in fact requesting a hint coup, as you can see. I have on the chat hat. Robots can wander now that power is restored, but not just- Oh! 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 I cannot fast travel right now. I see you've made progress in this world, Lauren. But that progress stops here. I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Then it pops up on my computer and says, do you understand what this means, Lauren? Yes or no? Thing is, I looked at that computer like twice, but I forgot to pass power up. Do I understand what this means, Lauren? And no is the default thing. You can't, you can't see it, folks, but this is me choosing between. I do. Good. Start looking. Okay, now this is actually a thing I remember. I think it's on, I think it's on my desktop. I think there was a desktop thing. Hold on, we're gonna... Look. Maybe. Oh no, I think it's in the one shot folder. Document dot one shot text document that was made one minute ago. Ha! I got it. This I do remember. I remember this. I didn't remember when it happened, but I remember that it did happen. If it happens again, I will be surprised because it has happened the once. Yeah, I think it blew my mind in 2017. All right, folks. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It remembers. I was going to make it so that you could see it, but it already was there because, uh, because of, um, uh, what's it called? We did the, uh, the poem in, yes, in Thousand Year Dorks, there was a poem at the end of that. Hold on. I want to make sure you can see it all. There we go. Dear something. I really like the way that they use this nonsense thing so it looks smudged. Something and there's an H here. Something and there's an S. S. A. Message to you and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I have left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that you something something can read it and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask because, at least I assume that this says mask, because something you'll, you will something. Look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. The code you need is 273986. All right, folks. Oh, hold on. There you go. Yeah, that code being randomized every game does not surprise me. They do have to gate you. Okay. Well, fortunately for me, 
have this set up. Every coffee is personalized. Wait, fast track. Travel to Cliffs? That's where I am. Darn it! I don't remember how to get around. I guess it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. And I think it's straight up here. <clears throat> yes, got it. Ah, this is why it's funny that the kid says, I don't think I've seen it. And I'm like, no, you haven't seen it. It's something that I got outside of your world or the world that you're in. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how did you know the code, Lauren? I still don't remember seeing one. I had some help or I have my ways. I'm gonna say I had some help. I don't want to be the cool mysterious god. That's not what I'm going for here. Really? From who? Don't worry about it. Okay. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. I'm gonna close this now because I want you to be able to see Nico's cute face. Nico's face is very adorable. Okay. Ah! I found a gas mask! Also, there's this weird looking book. That must be the book that was left for me. I can't read it though. Not that I can't read or anything, because I can! I just don't know what language this is. Gas mask. Strange journal found in the barrens. It's written in an unknown language, and it appears to have one of those black plants on the cover. It looks like a clover. Ah. Uh, that startled me. What is that? Wonderful, we've introduced a glitch, I guess. Okay, well, it's good to know that there's glitches in this world. Wonderful, fantastic, excellent. It's pretty scary. It is definitely pretty scary. Okay, hold on. I'll wear it when I have to. Okay, so that'll auto-equip. Let's go talk to the robot with the clovers first. Just in case. You never know. Look, you can't expect me to do forward progression. Can you? I gotta do totally useless things that nobody else cares about. I'm watching over the plants. Yes, I see that. Oh, I wonder if I hold up the lamp to the book if that makes it readable. But let's see if she will talk, comment on it. Excuse me, miss. I found this book. Do you know anything about it? Let me see. What language is this? I'm sorry. I don't even recognize this writing system. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Although, this insignia... Hold on to the journal for now. It will be important. Okay. All right, well that is good to know. See, like, look, okay, clover, 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 clover. Clover, 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 clover. There's something significant about the clovers. All right, child, it's time to put on a gas mask. <gasps> oh no! Oh, kiddo, oh, you were 
funny looking with this mask on. I should be fine with this mask on. It's a gas vent. Sorry, I'm always gonna kind of wander not where I'm supposed to go. Oh, look at that! There's something weird about the robots who get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere, or am I just seeing things? If you hadn't yet figured out. This music is almost like a lullaby. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. All right, I am a person, that is correct. This looks important. It's a pair of rubber gloves. They're a bit heavy. Probably gonna need those. Ah, no! Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair services have been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents. Acidic gas. Blue phosphor, rare form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. The door is all boarded up. The boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Well, fortunately for you, good thing I kept this crowbar. <laughs> Property, does this count as property damage? Okay, all right, property damage. Do we need to make a property damage emote? What would that be? What would a property damage emote look like? It can't just be a hookshot because hookshots are different. What a workout. Sorry, kiddo. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Lauren. She... She's, she's going to do her best. I'm, I'm sorry, Nico. I'm sorry, kiddo. This robot looks kind of rusty. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. A bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Oh yeah, it's, it has to emulsify like a mayonnaise. It's a big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Clearly we should just smash it a bunch. I'm sorry robots, I'm sorry I can't help you.
So I have a bottle, but I don't have a lid for it. <gasps> big, hopefully big friend. <gasps> oh, you look sad. Oh, no. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Huh? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the Messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built for the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with ease. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. I don't know that I like the people that built this place. So this is... It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of Residential Area. Tiny shrimp swimming in the shower. It's looking a little dim. Oh, buddy. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they meant by that. Pretty sure that's the glitching that we saw after we communicated with whatever being is communicating outside of the game. This is not good. Bummer, looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. I'm scared of ladders. You might have to, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks, Blue Goss. That is a thing that they can have in common with Thomas was weaker than three. Ladders, not his strong suit. <gasps> Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Uh, what? Oh my god, this little robot. <laughs> Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to do some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots. At least, not at a significant rate. Time will tell. I'm pretty sure these are computers now. Checking, checking, terminal does not respond. This is a problem. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. These poor robots. They are having a rough time of it. Oh man. A picture of a robot. 
You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Lauren. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? <laughs> My two options here are either, yeah, or, hey, Nico, do a robot voice. I can't, Wooper. No. I'm not going to make the kid do a robot voice. Because the kid's going to feel self-conscious and bad about it, probably. As tempting as the clown shoes answer is, when we pick clown shoes answers in Disco Elysium, Ocelot is frequently the one who suffers and, like, that's allowed. <laughs> But Nico is a precious little cinnamon roll child, and I do not want to make them have to embarrass themselves, so I won't do that. So I'm gonna go with yeah. Yeah! Hello! Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Now it may be that actually the way to like get like the best experiences in this game is to do things like any time it presents you with an opportunity like that to take them. But infirmary. I just, I can't, in good conscience. Hello, organic person who is alive. <laughs> the infirmary is up ahead. You don't say. You do say, they do say. Oh shoot, oh no, is that, is that my, is that my nanny bot? Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Search scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. It's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission to the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. I, I, I would. <laughs> Did you know that you are a cat? Is that my distressed robot friend? I know, kiddo. Evacuation at such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Priorities. Some sort of mechanical drawing. <sighs> Seems that you already have an assigned escort. Unit RM2883417. Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. They're not very good at escorting, but they're trying their best. Oh. Okay, so I have to say the like, I will escort you until you reach your dormitory thing is kind of kind of uncomfortable because it's like I can't help but project the possibility of uh, cyberpunk corporate nonsense you know like I can't help being like are they being like you're not allowed to wander out without supervision so now that we've seen you've reported for duty we have to make sure you go to your dormitory and you stay there until you've been approved to leave I don't know Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. 
I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Okay, we're going to have some sort of shenanigans about the magic of storytelling. Which is great. I'm all about that. That is my jam. Hey, sweetie. Six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon. Love, Mom. Aww. So this is like their little cubby holes and that's all they've got. Man, I would not be able to handle that. I would go insane. I was concerned when I stayed in, in hostels in Tokyo. I had to make sure that I wasn't staying in any um, capsule hotel, like super small stuff, just in case it set off the part of my brain that's afraid of caves. I don't know what I would have done. It's like, oh, this is the place you're supposed to stay, but your brain has decided that it's a cave and you have a phobia of caves. I remember being taught in school about how the waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. The waters surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. And then the prehistoric oceans receded, so now there's the Barrens. This is a strange world. I wonder where all that water went. Tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. It feels kind of like the way the world in, um, what's it called? Uh, Transistor has this strange self-contained otherness. You know? And almost a little claustrophobic. All right, so yeah. it's about time to shut down, but I did start late. Gas mask, rubber gloves. So what I need to do, oh, the bottle, hold on. I actually think that the bottle, hello friend. I think that the bottle has its own closure, so we should be able to just go to one of those thingums and trap some gas in this bottle. I can't reach the top, Lauren. Oh. Oh. I tried. Oh, man. They are tiny. They are a tiny baby child. Speaking of games with non-binary protagonists that are adorable small children, has anyone read the book Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow? Because I'm currently in the process of reading it. And it's very, very good. I can see why it was so highly recommended. Um, there's, it's not science fiction or fantasy as far as I can tell. Um, but, uh, and it's, it's a little like some of the things that happen in it, it's very realistic and it feels like people I could know. And that means that if they do something awkward or embarrassing or, or something bad or painful happens to them, it, it's a little hard to read, but I, that just means I just take a little break, um, and then come back to it. It's very good. I've been tearing through it and I'm probably going to finish it in like probably tonight. <laughs> it's very good. All right, these are all too high up. Well, but I, mm. ah, there's something. That's the bubbles. That's gonna be the special shrimps. Hello. The sky is dark. That it is. 
Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. This little optimistic child hoping for the best. All right. So I figured out where the shrimp bubble is, which is great. But before I can do the shrimp bubble, I have to get the gas. All right, so how do I get the gas? I'm glad there's a run button in this game. Okay, so this is the dormitory area. And the infirmary. Okay, that's about the robots. <sighs> I hate this, I hate this. Um. Is this it? No. By the way, some robots may start following you around this settlement as well. Do not be alarmed. It is their job to keep people safe. <laughs> All right, friend. This song makes me think of something from Secret of Mana. Okay. Is there gas stuff here? Because this was, I thought, a chemical processing area, but I guess not. No. Maybe I will leave this for next week, Lauren, to solve? supposed to do this they're all the same height as far as I can tell I can't like push a rock and stand on a rock yeah and, and it may be that I'm just being a bit sleepy so let's see what does this say again oh yeah like, it definitely gives you a lot of hints, so I know what I'm supposed to do. I just can't seem to find the things that I need. Um, hold on. When in doubt. I mean, I could always try smashing it with a crowbar. <laughs> I'm not gonna smash the bottle. <laughs> Good job, child. Okay, so how do I save and exit? It auto saves when I exit, right? So if I just hit the exit button, that'll do it. Gosh, I'm sorry. I feel like I've gotten so little accomplished, but it's a very charming little game. Like, is, is there something obvious that I'm overlooking here? really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright. I have overlooked something obvious-ish. Like, I want to, like, ask... 
questions, and I don't know if that's that I'm getting impatient or what, but this feels like the sort of game that's not supposed to be complicated to solve the puzzles. And I know vaguely what I'm supposed to do, I just don't know how. That's a gas vent. I don't know what else to do. Oh really, Violet Square? Okay. I feel like I've made like no progress at all, but I really don't know what the scale of the game is. Almost playing at average player rate. Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I haven't indulged my speculation as much. Well, cause like, I, I kind of want to get this over and done with. This little, this little rust aid thing. We don't have to go put the rust aid on the rusty guy. <clears throat> but, Okay. Like, I know where the shrimps are. So I'm gonna put on this and we're gonna ask some very, very basic yes or no questions. Okay? It's very exciting you guys get to actually answer questions. Okay, so... To gather the gas... Ah, uh, I'm gonna do... We're gonna do like 20 questions. <laughs> Wait, never mind. <sighs> uh, that's perfect timing. <laughs> Chat hat. Chat hat. <laughs> Led me. It guided me to the right location. Clearly that's what we need to do when I get lost. Okay, so I need to put on Shad Hat and let Shad Hat guide me. It's like the sword in um, The Princess Bride. Okay. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Lauren? That ought to do it. Huzzah. Okay. And then I found the I found the shrimp bubble, so we're gonna go do that. A bottle of smoke is <laughs> full of noxious fumes. Empty syringe. The needle is particularly long. Where's I saw that bubble. I know it's around here somewhere. I saw it. I know I saw it. Uh, no, I missed it. So, we're filling up the syringe, Lauren? I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in! Gross. This pond sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Okay. All right, so we're gonna combine those two things and go bring them to the robot. Not to be confused with robots. <laughs> Look at this so conveniently, it's near the robot. Okay. Filled syringe. 
Okay. They'll put on the rubber gloves automatically. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Lauren? It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. It's full of a thick liquid acid. Excellent. Great. And then I've got the sponge. So I'm supposed to use this soon. So I'm going to close it here. Notes. Okay. Well, we've made some progress. I don't know if I've secretly remembered more than I realized I remembered, and that's kind of guided me in fixing this. Um, row, row, row your boat gently on the stream. <laughs> Nicely done, Amphi. Yeah, this is, it's a really, it's a really cute and charming game. And, and it feels familiar. Like, I feel like I've done this before. I just don't remember what I'm going to find next. You know? So, I don't know that it matters that some of it seems familiar, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so my guess is probably, I guess, the three or four weeks um, of streaming is probably about accurate. Which means that we'll be like... That, that'll probably finish my time. Okay, so just to let everyone know, I will be taking the entire week of Thanksgiving, of American Thanksgiving, off because I'm going to help my family um, earlier than usual this year, so I will be missing Tuesday as well. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to stream through this, um, um, and uh, and I'll be going back to Texas uh, sometime in December, January. I haven't figured out exactly when because there's stuff I have to plan around, including, a, uh, well, we'll see. There's some health stuff, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I will, uh, I will see you all Thursday. We will do, uh, we will do, uh, more Disco Elysium and hopefully with my health getting better and my mental health, hopefully getting better. Um, maybe I'll actually be able to make some of those more videos that I've been talking about. Maybe I'll do some more music. We'll see. We'll see. I feel better when I do this stuff. It's just, I got to feel a bit better to do this stuff. But yeah, thank you all for being here. I'm glad to see some names I haven't seen around in a while. It's nice to be able to let you in on um, a different game. We'll probably be doing Ghost Trick once we're done with this. Thank you all so much. Uh, please feel free again to join the Discord. Um, follow if you like what you see here. And I will see you all later. Bye!